start out with, look at this, Jason. They got a spot reserved just for you. Drive through reserved. It's a good day. All right, guys, welcome to episode two of Food on the Go. I'm your host, Big D, Dallas Kennedy. Um, and today we got a special little, uh, a little treat for you guys. So this is like one of my favorite things to do. I've been doing this uh, combination of food um, at McDonald's, and I'll tell you what it is in a sec. I've been doing this combination of food since I was maybe like 12 years old. So that's a good 10 years, okay? And I learned about this from some friends. Um, and so the name of this item varies across the land. Um, in India, they might call it the McDoubledouble. In China, they might call it the McYin Yang. Um, I've known it as the McHobo. Um, but it's also known by not so nice words like the McGangbang. Um, or also known as like the Mick. What was it? What was it the Mick Dubchek or something? Okay. So, what is cool about this item though is that it's cheap, and that's why I call it the Mick Hobo. That's where I learned it from, is because it's cheap, and it's cheap enough for a hobo um, to order it. Okay. So, without further ado, I'm going to pull out the items, and then I'm going to assemble it for you, and you're going to see um, how to put it together. And you're going to learn how to make the McHobo. All right. So we got our bag here from McDonald's. The first item we have, if you can read that, is the McDouble. Okay. I think my order came out to be two seventy nine. So this is super cheap. If you got enough change, you're sitting around your car um, to order this item. So there's no excuse not to go out and do this for yourself. Okay. The next item we have is the McChicken. And what I really am mad about at McDonald's is that they don't just have the regular McChicken anymore. They're all hot and spicy. Why is that? If you know the answer, let me know down below. All right, so for assembly, we start out with the McDouble. Open it up. And as you see here, see there, there's two patties, okay? Now this one, this looks like it's been sitting around for a little bit. Maybe next time ask for a fresh one if they don't if they don't give it to you. And then look what they got in there. They got they got uh, pickles, they got onions, they got ketchup. It's all there for you. Okay. So what you do is you separate. Look at that. You separate them. Then you take your McChicken. You, looking at? you take your chicken and you just take it as it is and you put it on the bottom there make sure it's nice and center um, that helps distribute the flavor and then you put the other one on top there and then look here look what you got you got patty you got chicken you got another beef patty okay so we're gonna start out real quick we always start out by cleansing our palates and we do this by drinking water. We just take a little sip of water. So we'll get around a little, sip it down. That tastes a little bit like orange soda. That's a little weird. I guess it's McDonald's, it's not too sanitary. Now what's awesome about the McChicken and the McDouble put together is that the cheese actually holds the bun together, as you can see there. I can move it around and it won't do anything. It's very concrete. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, take a bite, see if it's just like I remember it. All right, let's uh, let's do right there. Mmm. Oof. I know my way around fast food, okay? When I say this, I mean it real, and I mean it personally. That's a dang good sandwich. I'm not calling it a burger. I'm not calling it 
a wrap, I'm calling it a sandwich. And that's because it has chicken on it. Burgers don't have chicken on it. Remember that. So let's go ahead and take another bite real quick. Oh yeah. It just keeps getting better. So in case you guys don't know, just a little bit of background with me and chicken sandwiches. Um, let me just say this, Wendy's has the best chicken sandwiches around, okay? Well, besides the obvious Chick-fil-A, Wendy's has a good chicken sandwich for a buck. McDonald's is down the lower end of that. Let me just share a story real quick. My brother used to work at Wendy's and he ordered, actually he worked until closing time and then he took home 10 chicken sandwiches for me because otherwise I'd just throw it away. And he brought it to me and we had a challenge. He says, if I ate all the chicken sandwiches, I'm the best in the world. I don't think there was like a real prize. I was young. So I don't think I was like motivated by money or fame or anything like that. I was just the best, okay? And I ate. The, the problem was though, is that he brought them home and he put them in the fridge. And so, you know, like fast food is never good after it's been like in the refrigerator. It's always good hot and right away. If you wait a while, it doesn't get good. And those chicken sandwiches were not good. But I ate all 10 of them. I ate all 10 of them. And I became the best chicken sandwich eater in, in our family. But that's why I know a good chicken sandwich when I when I, when I I taste one. Because of the quantity that I uh, had to eat. It just became integrated into my tongues. So, my tongue. I don't have multiple tongues. All right. So this is my challenge, you guys. Go out, get yourself a Mick Hobo, Mick Gang Bang, Mick Dingle Donger, Mick Ying Yang. Okay, it will be worth your time. It will be worth your money. Two seventy nine is a simple price to pay to have your belly full and warm. All right, love you guys. Comment down below what else uh, other uh, food items, fast food items you want me to go try. Um, the more unique, the better. If you have your own special combinations, comment down. Send me a message, whatever, and we'll do it. There's no limit to the to the power we can we can uh, together make. Um, I just love, like to uh, commit you guys to do your own review. Let me know what you think. That seemed to be a big thing with the nacho fries review. Um, we had eight or nine other reviews going on for the nacho for the nacho fries. So get the word out, Mick Hobo. This is what it's called. Let's get one more bite for good luck, and then I'll peace out. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Peace.